At Pure Seed Testing East, our primary research responsibility is to improve the summer performance of tall fescue. We work on breeding tall fescue varieties that have better heat tolerance and maintain good turf quality through the summer times here. Uh, we're fortunate to, in our area that we're in the transition zone so we can work on cool season grasses and warm season grasses here in North Carolina. We get a lot of summer stress, uh, including some very destructive diseases on all of our cool season turf grasses. But in tall fescue in particular, we've been working on brown patch resistance and resistance to gray leaf spot. We manage these trials to get as much disease as we can. So in the summertime, we don't manage them to encourage the turf grass, we manage them to encourage the diseases. So we mow them a little shorter maybe than tall fescues like to be mowed in this climate. Uh, we water them in the evening and we keep them under higher fertility than we would advise a homeowner. Gray leaf spot is a devastating tall fescue disease in the transition zone. At our North Carolina research farm, we've been screening tall fescues under heavy gray leaf spot disease pressure for the past five years. Under this pressure, we've been able to select plants with improved genetic resistance. Gray leaf spot is a spore-borne disease. This slide shows early symptoms. Plots with improved resistance are showing up in the image on the right. As the disease progresses, the spore load on the turf increases, causing more infection. This slide shows a turf trial with severe gray leaf spot damage. Plots with genetic resistance are apparent. GLX ACE has shown good gray leaf spot resistance in trials, as has LifeGuard, which is also drought tolerant and TWCA qualified. We've been working to improve brown patch resistance in tall fescue since we established the North Carolina Research Farm in 1991. As you can see, we're able to get a lot of disease pressure in our trials. Cumberland has shown excellent heat tolerance and brown patch resistance in our trials, as has Saltillo. Saltillo is also TWCA qualified. Gray leaf spot is also a devastating disease of perennial ryegrass in the mid-Atlantic and the transition zone. We're able to reliably screen ryegrasses for gray leaf spot resistance at our North Carolina research farm. We've had a lot of success developing ryegrasses with improved gray leaf spot resistance. These pictures show Silver Sport's excellent resistance holding up through the summer. Summer patch is one of the most damaging diseases of Kentucky bluegrass wherever it is grown. This picture is from our North Carolina research farm showing heavy disease pressure. Desert Moon has shown excellent resistance to summer patch. These are a few images showing summer stress and brown patch on bent grass trials in North Carolina. We've done a lot of selection work in bent grass with mowed space plants. We selected the original parents of Pure Eclipse from mowed space plants in North Carolina. It has shown great summer turf quality and summer disease resistance in our trials. This is a data table showing brown patch ratings from our bent grass green trial in North Carolina this summer. As you can see, Pure Eclipse is showing good resistance to brown patch along with blends that contain Pure Eclipse. They're also at the top of the trial. You can see the progenies here behind me. These are experimental varieties that we're evaluating. This trial has been under heavy stress from brown patch for about six weeks. And now we're starting to get gray leaf spot. And so you can see behind me this row of plots, you can see that there are a few plots that look a lot better than the others. So those are plots we're interested in. And then directly behind me, you can see a whole row of very good progenies. Uh, this group has performed very well all through the spring and the summer. This is a group that actually was, was selected for drought tolerance at the Oregon Research Farm, and now we're evaluating the disease resistance here. And so far, it looks really good. We're fortunate to be able to put a lot of stress on our grasses and so make selections for the varieties that are better. So what we will do here then is we'll choose the best plots from here after the diseases are finished working really hard on them, and then we'll let Crystal know about that information and she will combine those best progenies in Oregon to produce the next cycle of plots that we will evaluate. On the research farm in Oregon, we have several trials of Kentucky bluegrasses in turf. We have high maintenance, we have low maintenance, which is behind me today, and we also have a traffic trial. We like to capture different types of data sets on our varieties and we plant multiple trials each year so that we can do things like that. The trial behind me is pretty interesting because it has had a reduced amount of fertilizer in the spring and no water. What happens in Oregon when you have less fertilizer on Kentucky bluegrasses is we get stripe rust in the spring and stem rust in the fall. So the yellow plots behind me are primarily because of rust. 
In our breeding program, we work on rust resistance in all species, and so you can see some of the commercial varieties from Pure Seed have good rust resistance, such as Wright, Moonlight SLT, Tirum, New Moon, and Full Moon. Hey, uh, my name is Kelly Lynch. I'm on the Pure Seed sales team. I have responsibility for the northern U.S., so if you take the U.S., cut it in half and go north, I'm your gal. I've been with Pure Seed for three years now, and I came to Pure Seed on my own cord based on the fact that I wanted to work with and for Crystal Rose Fricker and be a part of a team that's dedicated to not only the science and the research, but the customer service and the ability to connect over many things, not only the grass seed portion of it, but the relationship portion of it. Uh, and I found a home at Pure Seed. So I've been here for three years. I have a background in golf. I'm a golf professional by trade. I had the privilege to, to work with some talented women in the industry, one of them being Dr. Leah Brillman, who helped me fall in love with the, the grass seed industry. And then now working with Crystal Rose Fricker Dr. Melody Frazier, Michaela Fricker. I'm surrounded by talented women in the industry and I feel very privileged to be a part of the team. So let's talk tall fescue. One of my favorite things to talk about is tall fescue, not only because of some of the varietal differences, the disease resistance, the drought tolerance, the fine leaf texture, the early spring green up, but let's really talk about the functional part of tall fescue. And I think the fun part, um, I saw a lot of tall fescue into the Northeast market. And what we're finding is the varieties, Saltile, Lifeguard, Rain Dance, Progol, those are all on the Virginia, Maryland list. And so we have tall fescues that are, meet our customers' needs and our, and our end users' needs, but we also pass really stringent testing through the Virginia, Maryland's uh, Department of Ag. And so one thing that's kind of cool about that is the research that has happened in Oregon and the research that's happened in North Carolina has all also been highly recognized by Virginia, Maryland Department of Ag and that testing system. I am Nina Oldenkamp and I am the Vice President of Operations at Odie's, the field expert. At Odie's, we construct, renovate, maintain, and supply athletic fields. In each of these areas, it is important to us to choose products of the highest quality and performance to achieve the results and expectations of our customers and ourselves. And that is why we have built a relationship with Pure Seed as our preferred seed supplier. After extensive research with Pure Seed varieties, it's become obvious to us that the varieties they have chosen align with our expectations. There are so many things that we are looking for in a seed. Each one of our customers have different needs, so seed varieties make a difference. What we need in a seed is a heat, traffic, and drought tolerance, disease resistance, rapid establishment, quick repairing, and good color. At Odie's, we have had outstanding results with pure seed varieties. We are confident that every time we seed, we will get the results that we are expected by our customers and ourselves. I'm Paul Outlaw of PPC Total Turf. We're here in Eastern North Carolina. We're on the edge of where it would even be considered sane to grow fescue, but we do it anyway. <laughs> Our disease pressure in the summertime here is otherworldly. So it's important that we select a grass seed, a fescue variety that's gonna hold up to the, to the heat, the drought, and especially the high humidity, the, the disease that we're gonna have here. So we have, after going to the uh, Tour Seed East Field Day last year, I was really impressed with the paces that they put the, put the turf through there and all the uh, work that goes into the development in an environment that's pretty similar to mine here. So we went out last year with a, a local distributors uh, mix that was a, you know, three uh, Pure Seed varieties and a little bluegrass in it. And Man, our results were amazing.
really good disease resistance in a, and I'm in a, man, I am in a harsh climate for disease pressure on fescue. Great color, excellent drought resistance. This grass will knock your socks off. The Pure Dynasty Pascalum was chosen for Dubai House due to its high salt tolerance, the low nutrient implements, um, especially nitrogen that it requires, as well as its heat to stress tolerance. Um, it's a fantastic turf and uh, we're very happy to have it on these grounds. Enjoy maintaining it and the quality speaks for itself. So. When you're thinking about varieties, you're thinking about grass seed, let's talk about the stuff that's easy. We'll handle the research, we'll handle decades worth of knowledge and dedication to bringing you the best varieties, but we're also going to hand it to you in the fact that it's easy and we want you to enjoy it. That's our message. Varieties make the difference.